thought about how in the world I could form my experience into a video. Drag down all the aspects I didn't like about it. Maybe make a scalding bad game design. But then, I realized I couldn't make that video. I couldn't objectively find anything wrong or bad about Persona 5. It just wasn't a game for me. Another reason why I bring up the topic of objectivity and subjectivity is because of the types of things out there that are critiqued based on different things. Put simply, subjectivity is anything that relates to how you feel about something. For example, seeing an emotional scene where how it was executed can range from shock to laughter to even tears of joy. Anything that relates to emotion, in essence. Then there is objectivity, which is the opposite. In that, objectivity has nothing to do with how you feel about something. Say, for example, that a racer got a time of two minutes in a race, and that another racer was just five seconds behind that time at 1 minute and 55 seconds. Objectively speaking, the one who got there earlier has the better time. However, it is still subjectively possible that the racer who got the 2 minute time could just be the better racer in general. After all, this racer had more obstacles to deal with. Whereas the racer who got the better time didn't have said extra obstacles. The subjectivity here being that you feel that the player who did worse could do better, with the objectivity being that the time in general was just a bit worse. But why do I bring this up, you may ask? Well, because while subjectivity is implied with just about every video out there, meaning that it isn't necessary for the reviewers to say I think and I feel every two seconds, there might still be an instance or two of someone out there using the word objective when talking about a subjective topic. In cases such as these, it is more so a scenario where what they are actually saying relates to personal standards. By that, I mean something akin to, by my personal standards, this thing is better than that thing. By my personal standards being what they actually mean when they say objective in these cases. Again, subjectivity comes from how one feels about something. To say that something that is fundamentally subjective as objective just sounds silly to me. Though with that said, reviews do have elements of objectivity when it comes to anything that is based in technology. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to see which GPU would work the best when it comes to performance. What these reviewers would do is start with a set of components that they use for their computers, a standard set of components that will never change across various setups. After which, they will test a variety of scenarios with a variety of GPUs. The results of which are measured in numbers. In this scenario, the reviews are based on cold, hard numbers not purely based on feeling of how one GPU may be better than another. Fundamentally, things that are quote-unquote objective are more so what I would define as a tool. Devices that have no emotions in of themselves and are designed for a specific purpose. Things that range from the aforementioned technology to something such as math. These tools can be used by anyone, good or evil. A mad scientist or a glad scientist. But yeah, make sure you use your tools to the best of your ability. For an unused tool or a non-functional tool makes for an objectively bad tool.